it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw uh, the head of a Stiggy Moloch. It's a dinosaur. Uh, it was in Jurassic uh, Jurassic World Hidden, sorry, is it Hidden Kingdom? Forbidden Kingdom? I forgot. Uh, yeah, it was in that movie, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, it's a really cool dinosaur and we're going to do it step by step. Uh, it's going to be for beginners and it's only going to take about maybe 10 minutes. Uh, so at the end of the 10 minutes, you'll have a, a new skill. So stay with me all the way to the very end, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much it. If you like learning how to draw, do me a huge favor, hit the like button and hit the bell notification. That's gonna let you know when I post, okay? All right, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do, and it's just gonna be the head and neck, uh, and I'll start doing bodies another time as well, but you can always check through the playlist. There's a dinosaur playlist. Um, I'm gonna throw a curved line here for the top of the head. So Stiggy Moloch rams into stuff. That's pretty much what Stiggy Moloch does. I think you just call him Stiggy for short, right? I think that's what they call him in Jurassic World. Line here, line here, bumps. Has this big old bump that he rams stuff with. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna throw maybe some bumps on this side. There's gonna be a plate kind of around his head or uh, at least for the brow line. The eye is gonna be about yay level. Maybe like below this stuff. And I'm gonna draw the eye here. Curve underneath. And line like so, just to kind of fill it in for the eye. All right. Then about on this side, I'm gonna draw the spikes in the back before I continue this area to kind of gauge it line up down there's some spikes that come out the back of the head another one another one it kind of goes around the far end and then we're going to have one really close to us i'm going to go over here and draw on a cheekbone up I'm gonna start here by drawing the nose. He has a small spike at the end of the nose. And then he has, so he's very similar to the Triceratops in that way. Um, because it has like a beak for a mouth, which is very, very Triceratops-like. Up over here. So the beak mouth. It's gonna close up the bottom of the mouth. We are gonna run a line here to the jaw and then that's gonna pull back over here in this area. Let that go back. May throw a small spike here, but then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw the neck like so. We can draw the throat of the, ne throw the, throat of the neck. Sorry about there. Okay, so that's kind of the general layout we have we have the general layout so far next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw go into you know detail uh this crest on his head i'm going to draw thinner lines to complete it same thing on this side as well i'm going to draw thin lines to show kind of that crown area where that separation is it will actually cast a shadow on the eye right here so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna throw a shadow there, but I'm not gonna cover or connect it to the eye. I think that would be way too much. There's like a little bit of shadow sticking down. Teardrop shape for the nostril. Going over here and curving the line around where the horns meet, whatever visible horns we see. Just kind of curving that line around. I'm gonna go to the front. Line over here, down, down over here for the side of the mouth, pull up. Lines over here along the neck because there is a flexion going on. You can throw just some thin lines over here to, to show that, you know, the neck is a little bit more real than not. And at this point you could draw maybe thin lines along the beak of the mouth 
because you know it's just the way it is I mean it'll make it look like a texture alrighty line over here you can draw thin lines over here to give the the head a, a texture over here and then line right here as well alright so now it's like the extra stuff so what would he have on his cheek uh, he could have these kind of small horns on his cheek these small horns or scales on his cheek right there he could have uh, you know bag under the eye as well right this is a dinosaur after all at this point we're literally just kind of putting down details in thinner lines meaning I'm gonna I'm gonna push much lighter on my uh, on my my uh, marker here to, to create a thinner line here line over here and it's cool because you can kind of just do it anywhere curve line over here curve line over here right because you know this crown right here there is a lot of like rocky forms on it so to make that look like rock you can throw these curved patterns here with very very thin because if you do it thin it adds to the detail that doesn't take away if you did a really thick lines so that would just take away from it honestly it would just be really strange um, you can go over here and start like I do with uh, all the dinosaurs you can draw these uh, scale shapes which is also these thin lines usually on the bottom of that scale shape maybe not put it in the front but put it in the back here um, Stiggy is such a cool dinosaur though um, I'm so glad he was finally in a Jurassic uh, Jurassic Park Jurassic World movie You can even throw a little extra spikes there sticking out because he's obviously going to have, you know, like uh, it's a real animal, really. You know, I mean, it, it was a real animal, uh, so there's going to be a lot of variation on that, you know. And I can just kind of throw it around here more and more. You can just kind of keep going into it. That's what's cool about it. Anyways, that's Stiggy Moloch from Jurassic World uh, Forbidden Kingdom. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if you thought, uh, if, if this video brought value to you in any way, um, please do me one favor and share the video with someone that you think might enjoy it. Or you can go to the bottom right hand side of the screen, I think, if you're on, um, not the screen, but the video on the on YouTube you can press the share button and share it with uh, it'll take two seconds and you can share it on Twitter or uh, you know Facebook or uh, reddit or Pinterest if you share it on any of those or all of those that'd be a wild that does so much more to help the channel out than anything else you can possibly do thank you so much I appreciate it I will see you next time and I'll see you very soon, okay? I will talk to you very soon. See you later. Uh, keep the drawing easy.